All right. Well, yesterday I watched a video called The Mystery of the Lost Ark, the parable or something like that. I don't know if anybody has watched this video on YouTube, but it really does make sense that maybe whoever made this video was telling the truth that talking about the Exodus. Now, I don't know why it was talking, why the, the video would be talking about the Ark of the Covenant. And then whoever made the video alluded to the um, things that happened. Um, I cannot remember the word all of a sudden. Uh, but the things that happened to the Pharaoh and everything all led was all because of one event that happened that there was a volcano that went off um, roughly the same time as um, the things like the what it, I cannot believe I cannot remember what it's called um that you know the the frogs the lice the fire with ice um and then it even alluded to all this stuff happening because of the volcano the only thing that did not make sense is why only the firstborn males died now what this video said was because of where the first males would be and even referred to some gas and stuff like that which at the end of the day it sounds all good like it's a like it's all legit uh but i still don't see that because of course there was a reason why the jewish people did not get harmed um now, if this is all true, if this is all true and it all started because of one event that happened, you know, I believe there's a possibility. But let's look at the end days. The end days, the things that happen in the book of Revelation, people have clearly seen visions and dreams and know that there are things that are in the Bible that refer to a meteor. And <clears throat> I believe that this meteor that hits the same thing happens in the future where a meteor hits and because of the meteor that hits it will cause quakes and i've already i've already i've already believed this before i ever ran across this video because i've even met, i've even even made comments in videos that the days without sunlight that people are talking about is volcanic ash in the air but i think that this all happens either within days or minutes of each other that a meteor hits the volcanoes go off the earthquakes happen the ground cracks the ground falls into the ocean where the volcanoes are at because if you look at the west coast of america that's where the volcanoes are at of course there are volcanoes even in new mexico they're, I mean, uh, uh, they're probably obsolete today, but um, I just drove by one last night, yesterday. Um, the East Coast gets hit by a tsunami. People have already had visions and dreams of that. I already knew about the Great Lakes emptying into the Gulf of Mexico. There was a person that made a video that has people that writes in to this individual talking about 
visions and dreams and stuff that they've they've had and even one other person professed that the great lakes empty into the gulf of mexico edgar casey prophesied about this and i i think all this happens because of a simple meteor there was a guy that i used to watch his videos and a lot of people did not like this individual he did profess god jesus and the holy spirit I don't know where this guy got his messages because some of the messages this guy got were the craziest messages out there. But one day he was sitting down and he had a map on the table. And he had acrylic pages, if you know what I'm talking about, like a clear page that you would use on a projector, like you're projecting something on the wall. Like some of y'all remember when you were in school that they had a projector and it projected on the wall and whatever was projected on the wall was written down on a clear paper, uh, plastic, whatever. And um, I remember this guy, he had a map on on the table and he turned a page and he's as he was turning this acrylic paper, you could see things like meteors falling from the sky. Now, I don't know if anybody ever, you know, I'm not going to go into too much, too much detail in this video because I could also say something else. You know, I know a few years ago, five years, four years, I have no clue. I remember witnessing a video or something where people that had read the Bible had come to an understanding of things that were in the Bible. And I think that that's the reason why our governments all around the world have been digging holes and building tunnels all around the world. And if you think that just America is in cahoots, guess again. These people are all evil. Evil finds evil. They've been, they've been, they've been, I don't even believe in the Russian missile crisis. I do not even believe in the Russian missile crisis. I don't even believe in this war we're witnessing right now. Because even the guy that runs the Ukraine had a television show. And all the people that are under him were all a part of his show. I don't believe in anything you're witnessing whatsoever. I think Satan is behind it. I think God is allowing it. Because the majority of the church even deserves the lake of fire right now. Don't get mad at me for telling the truth. I mean, if you're going to be in sin and I'm going to be in sin, you're going to deserve hell and I'm going to deserve hell. I'm not going to lie about it. You people may be under a delusion that the majority of the church is going to get raptured just before the meteor impact, and it ain't going to happen. As long as the church is going to remain in sin, they're going to be of their father, the devil, just like the rest of the world. The same pride that the church has a problem with is the same pride that atheists have out here. Same pride as homosexuals. Do not like being told what to do. I've admitted that. I don't know how many times that people do not like being told what to do. You've got the Bible. The Bible tells you what to do. And the Christians, the very people out here that say, I'm saved. I'm born again. I'm led by the Holy Spirit are not. Very few are serving the Lord. Most are honoring God with their lips and not their heart. That is a Pharisee. And they all deserve what's coming. They all, the world deserves exactly what we're witnessing right now. God saying, I've had enough. And when that meteor hits and two-thirds of the population perishes, they had all their ample opportunity to be serving the Lord.
It's just a fact. The world is under a delusion right now, just like the church is. Just like so many people on YouTube, overnight Cracker Jack box theologians, got a piece of paper, some of them do, thinking they are serving the Lord, thinking that they are doing for the Lord, and they're doing for themselves and Satan because that is who their master is. What can I say? Repent? That ain't going to happen. Because then they would, that would mean they would have to obey somebody. Well, it is what it is. But I've known it. And I know that exactly what's happening is exactly what people deserve. This world is gone. You can kiss a goodbye. Again, there's no use in only blaming people out here that think they're saving themselves. I've tried to point that out so people would break away from that because not everybody out here is a Catholic. But not everybody out here believes in once saved either. And it doesn't make a difference because they're both serving. I mean, you, you tell me how the Catholic Church is against once saved, but is living it. Sex galore. Right there with the Baptist church and once saved. Again, not everybody out here is living, looking for sin. Not everybody out here is looking for sin. But when it comes around and you give in, you show who you're truly serving. Well, either way, Christ is not going to be an advocate for these people that day when judgment comes around and they all step in front of him and are all judged. The only sinners that are going to be accepted are the ones that have turned from their wicked ways and were never going to be perfect. I realize that. I've already said the only ones, and I witnessed it from a paradigm shift, that the only ones that are going to hear a good and faithful sermon since we're never going to be perfect are the ones that are renewed, regenerated, and born again, led by the Holy Spirit and a new creation in Christ, and that's because they have the Holy Spirit. All these others cast away. Double-minded they are. Double-minded they are. There's the warning for you all. Still got the imaginary watch. And it's still, I hear it, tick-tock, tick-tock. Everyone's running out of time. You can believe in your religions all you want. You can praise these people that you praised all this time. I don't understand how people could sit here and think that because I heard some message from someone 1500 year, 500 years ago, excuse me, that these people were of God. It's happened multiple times in life. should have never taken man's word over God's word. And if you had a hated sin, 
then you'd have been able to rightly divide and you'd have had wisdom and knowledge of understanding. But again, I got to say it. I got to say it. It wasn't just, I hate sin. It was your proof in your walk. In your walk was proof that you hated sin. Well, again, it is what it is. But again, that two-thirds of the population, a meteor, all this stuff, I think it's all one thing. I really do. I do believe that this video is true. How, how God kept people from dying, well... He knew all these other things were going to happen. And I truly do believe it was because of a volcano that went off. I mean, it truly does make sense of how there could be gases that could kill fish. And the only thing that would be left alive was the frogs. The water would turn red because of the, the, the gases. Watch the video. Now, how he kept the grown-ups from dying... And only the children, maybe it was because of, see if you can wake up here. Maybe it's because of how long they were around, alive. I'm talking about the parents of the firstborns that lost their life. Maybe it's because of how long they've been around. Maybe somebody out there can put a puzzle piece together or two. Well, either way, I don't care what happened during the Exodus. I mean, I care about what happened, how it happened. I don't care. But I know that this stuff is all going to come true. And it's going to come truer than any millions of years from now. You can watch these videos about this destruction where it talks about Mystery Babylon splitting into three pieces. The islands disappear. I mean, I'm talking about a global catastrophe is coming. And everyone is, what, 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 go ahead. You can finish. Everyone is going to get what? What, what was that? Can anybody out there fill in the rest of the, the sentence? Everybody's going to get exactly what? You know, I just got done watching a movie, Death on the Nile or whatever. It was a pretty good movie. Can you imagine that even there was a time in the 20s and 30s that people were out getting drunk and doing drugs? Because I know there were drugs around. And everybody was out having their promiscuous or cheating on their... Uh, uh, not not married or cheating on their spouses. All this all this stuff's been happening all this time. There's been a time that it wasn't happening after that, that the church got better. There was a time before that that the church got pretty good. But there was always grown-ups out here doing all this. And then when the majority of the world's doing it like they are today, it deserves to come to an end. I sit here and said, I already know how people are. Don't get offended when I sit here and say that people are straight out mongrels. Straight out mongrels. And don't get mad because I'm not right for saying this, but believe me, God should have put an end to this a long, long, long time ago. But hey, I'm wrong for saying that. Should have come to an end. Maybe should have even made it to where none of us even existed at all. But... I'm wrong for saying that. I'm just speaking the truth. What I see when I'm around, I mean, you you can see here. Uh, you know what? I'm going to end it right now. It's not even worth talking about. You know, there have been good times in life. I'm supposed to be enjoying life. Look at the things that God has done for me to witness and go back and reminisce about things. A couple of times that God's done that for me. I still think back. I mean... 
when you ain't serving him, it doesn't make a difference how good of a person you are. And that's where we're sitting. No matter how, hello, how you doing? It's nice to be, see ya, hey, you know, and, and you find out at the end of the day, thank goodness I found out that all the friends that I ever had in my life ended up being squat. Being squat. All I know is you got you and that's all that matters. That's all you've got. So that's, you can, I mean, oh, excuse me, unless you're of Jesus Christ and then you've got him as a friend. But other than that, do not count on this world. I'm going to tell you that right now. Do not count on this world when the time comes. I've even admitted that I could be your best friend and I could sit here and have your back. But when the time comes, who can you really devote on uh, you I've sat here and tried to even say and make comments out here so people would not be like me because it truly is going to be hurtful to know that the majority of my family is going to end up in the lake of fire. And other people, some people out here have actually been able to come to that understanding. And it's truly hard. It truly does hurt the heart to know that it's. And that's and believe me, that's why a lot of Christians out here don't want to come to the truth. They want to think all they've been brought up to believe all this time that everybody was going to make it. No, that's not the case. Some people out here know the truth about rest in peace. Say rest in peace all you want. There's only one place that's going to have peace. And as long as people are out here living a sinful life, there's not going to be peace. kind of weird right now i'm parked where you hear all this little background noise because of the wind blowing and somehow it's making this humming noise like a noise like literally sounds like music this is wind ain't nobody making no music right now where i'm at Hey, I don't know what to say, man. It really does hurt. I mean, some people have come to the understanding that their loved ones will not inherit the kingdom. A lot of people don't want to come to that understanding. They want to think that everything they've been brought up to believe is the truth and that everybody that was a part of it is the truth. It's not the case. God already made his decision before you were a thought. Well, either way, I just wanted to let you know this. Is, I mean, I'm right back to saying this is exactly what people deserve. But this world is under a delusion right now, man. I'm going to tell you that right now. There is some, there is a sickness going on in this world. There will not be no America there. You can forget. I don't know what y'all are going to do. I would not fear. I mean, people already feared bad enough. They went out and made simple mistakes, mistakes that could cause them for the rest of their entire, their, their entirety life. I do believe it. I do believe it. I mean, as much of a rampage as everybody's on while they're driving down the road all the time. I mean, it's literally, it's unbearable. I don't even want to be, I don't even want to witness any of it. I don't even want to be around any of this right now. I, I mean, it, it makes me an absolute madman. Every, I don't even, I don't even think right now people should even be having children at all. I mean, they're already doing good enough to keep them, themselves having children and keep on having sex and enjoying their high lives out here in this life. Hey, I'm sorry that I'm speaking too much and over, over too much of the truth. I, uh, I don't know why somebody would say someone wouldn't have the right to say where somebody's going to end up, but it's a truth. Salvation isn't granted to the wicked. And that's just a fact. And people might as well face the facts while they've got the opportunity. And John Calvin isn't going to save you. And whoever else anybody out here believes in 
wasn't going to save no one. None of the churches was going to save no, no pastors, no bishop, no, no pope, no nothing. Jesus Christ, the only one going to save. And it's about it. People are almost out of time to find Jesus Christ. A heartbeat away. I don't know what to say, but I'm going to tell you, like I said, it's a sickness with the pride out here that everybody's got. I got my own issues. Yes, I do. I admit it. The only thing is, is I care about the truth. And that's what God cares about is people care about the truth. Well, I probably went too much into this video. All I know is it's, it's the truth. Whatever happened, I mean, it doesn't make a difference whether it's a chain reaction. Uh, <clears throat> I really do believe that, that that video is true. I do. Would not be the least bit surprised, but I, like I said, I could really care less. Ain't nothing anybody ever going to be able to do of something in the past. All you can look at is the future. I don't know how everybody got caught up into this. In the church. How did everybody get caught up in this garbage? People die for the lack of knowledge. So actually people die for the lack of wisdom. All right, that's enough of this video. I think I've said enough. I mean, the only other video I need to make is go in order of how I found all these things that I witnessed those clouds. The one in Lubbock, Texas, two weeks later, I witnessed the one in Hobbs, New Mexico. I witnessed the one in a girl posted up in, on Facebook, one that... Uh, Happened in Amarillo, Texas, of a, of a bombs of a look like bombs went off, and I know this is going to happen. I listened to that prophecy channel one time talking about how all over. Well, you know what? I'm not going to go into detail. If people can find the prophecy channel I'm talking about, maybe you can find the videos. Oh, I didn't need the I didn't need that prophecy channel to wit know what I was witnessing. I. I I already knew there were signs in the sky. I already knew that it was a sign in the sky when I was by Lubbock, Texas. I mean, by, uh, I was, I'm going to Odessa. No, it Pecos is where I'm going on Saturday, which is west of Odessa. Odessa Midlander are east of Pecos, Texas. I left Pecos, Texas at night, got on either, it's either 287 or 289. It goes toward Hobbs, New Mexico, when I witnessed that meteor going across the sky. Across the sky. Let's, let's look at a cross so you know that it was like looking at a comet going across the sky. Kind of like a hel helicopter going across the sky, like an airplane going across the sky. And then I witnessed all these burnouts, burnout, burnout. Go to the Meteor Society. You could get on YouTube and find videos of where cops, people on their own cameras, uh, door cameras on their houses, you know, where you push the thing, makes all the noise, let somebody know that somebody's at the front door. Cameras all over the world have caught all these burnout, meteor burnouts, burnout, burnout. Why do you think God gave all these visions and dreams so people would wake up out here and it may be too damn late? That this world is under such a strong delusion. I'm not even sure if people can come to the truth of how to even come to Christ. If people can even speak the truth. All, you know... Oh man, I'm telling you. Oh, you know, believe the gospel, believe the gospel. No, it's not that. That's a fraction. Read the Bible, be a doer of the word. That's the quickest and easiest thing that I could ever tell anyone to ever come to salvation is being a doer of the word. Or you're going to end up 
being only a hearer of the word like the majority of the church and being deceived like the Bible says. Lungard. I'll light me up a cigarette in just a minute after I get done with this video. Yep. Well, like I said, people are running out of time to say anything to anyone out there. I've already admitted how hard it is to be humble, how hard it is to be Christ-like. This is what it was going to take. It's hard to step down from your high horse like everybody's on right now. Like to maybe, even if you actually talk to somebody out there, actually act like you actually care about them and it's not just talking out your ass or something. All right, I've already run the video now. Who would have known that it would have been eventually happened? 